So I showed you guys an example of convex. And the reason why this is a convex is because the, when the lines that make up the sides, Nick, um, they don't intersect the interior of the, aside, of interior of the polygon. So Amber, what I did for now, let's go and take a look at a concave. Okay, So this would be an example of a concave, and I'm going to show you why. We're going to do the exact same test. We're going to take the sides of our polygon. And what we're going to do now is just extend them. Okay, But now, ladies and gentlemen, when I extend these sides, When I extend these sides, what I want you guys to see is now you guys can see that the, um, my lines intersect inside the polygon. You guys see those green lines that intersect the interior of the polygon? Yes? Yes? I just marked them with the little black circle. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, this is convex. Oh, I'm sorry, concave. All right. So when you draw lines of the um, perimeter of an angle and it crosses the interior, we call that concave. And the best way I can think of it, guys, is concave has an indent, like a cave, like you walk into a cave. right? So it's like the indent um, into it. But you guys can just use that test to be able to determine if it's convex or concave. All right. So hopefully that will help you guys out when you're looking at your review. You guys